Hey everyone, this is Marcy from Dragonfly Avenue. In this video, I'll be walking you through Show It. Um, it's a new platform I started working with recently. Um, and in this video, we'll be talking about how to update uh, your fonts and your colors. Um, so then you can customize it and personalize it to your own brand. So it'll be a pretty simple, quick tutorial, but it's one of the basics for show it. And I think it's important to know. Uh, so, okay, to start off, we will go here to where it says site. Right now I am using the Dia template, um, totally available in the shop if you want to check it out or use it. <laughs> but we are going to be using that um, as kind of like our, our training uh, site. <laughs> so to change the fonts and the colors, we're going to go here to where it says design settings. And immediately you're going to see color palette and type styles. So this is where you want to be. Okay. So this is going to give you the color palette for the entire site. Um, and it will update certain sections like the corresponding section um, on your site. But you can also change it manually. And I'll show you how to do that. Um, once I'm done with this part. So to change the color palette, you can just click on the box and either add your hex code or pick a new color to by going down here. So again, click the box, choose a color, click OK. And pretty much you can just keep going down that road. I'm gonna apparently be doing some muted colors here. Click OK. Again, if you have a specific color code for your brand, you can type that in here or copy and paste it in. Right now I'm just gonna do this just to kind of give you an idea of the colors changing. Okay, once that's done, click Save. And you'll see here, like some of these colors have already changed. Now we can go back in and make updates to all the colors to make sure that they're working um, or being used in the right places. So we'll do that in a second. But let's go back to fonts. So as you can see, there's mobile and desktop. So one quick tip will be anything that you change on the desktop view, make sure you're changing on the mobile view. If you want them to be different, that's fine, totally up to you. I would recommend they look the same and be the same fonts just for a cohesive look. But again, that's totally up to you. So we'll go here to like these little dots and you can see there's title, heading, subheading and paragraph. Uh, these are the options you'll have. So you can click that and you'll see all of these font choices or settings. So the font specifically, size, line height, letter spacing, alignment, uh, letter case, meaning normal, uppercase, lowercase, or title case. Um, there's a specific color you want for all titles to have. And then if it's a link, you can see if you want an underline, no underline the color and then if you want a hover color you can um, add that again uh, underline or no underline so this is great to make sure that all of your fonts and everything are cohesive um, but again if you have maybe a one page that has a darker background or something else and you need to change the color um, for example you can do that manually uh, but this will is a great way to just make sure everything is cohesive so if you want a different font, you can go here, click the little arrow, and I've selected some fonts, or you can click add new. Now all of these are going to be Google fonts, so they're free to use. Um, and, you know, select. You do have uh, custom font options here. Um, if you have the license for a custom font, you can add that here. But for now, we'll just stick with uh, the free Google fonts. So this will just be the list of all the Google fonts. So many, so, so, so many. Um, 
have no idea what font I want to choose, but let's do Corbin. Yeah, sure, why not? And you can choose uh, the styles, so normal or bold. Now, one thing you have to note is if you are going to want both options, you're going to have to add both options. So you can see the preview here, and then you want to add Google Font to show up down here. You can see a preview you can see how that looks bold and then add so then they're both available now you can let's do this one and again they have different italics normal etc so uh, just add google font and it's in there and let's add the italic and add that in there okay if you're good hit save and you can go back oh. go here to site style go to font and then let's do Corbin normal and let's say for this heading I want DM italic And I'm picking like four different fonts. I would suggest just two or three at the most, but uh, let's keep that. Now, again, you want to make sure you go back here to, or next to here where it says mobile and you're clicking and choosing the same options. Just so then everything is cohesive and looks the same on both mobile and um, desktop views. Once you're ready, hit save. And you can see that some of these um, fonts have already been added in and swapped out. So that looks great. Well, I mean, it looks, it looks good for now, um, but you check it out. Okay, now let's say you want to change something um, or a font specifically. So you can go into whatever page you want. Uh, we're just gonna be on the home page. Let's highlight the text. We're gonna go here to where it says text style. Now you can see heading plus, heading, title, subheading, paragraph. So this will change it to the font that's chosen based off of uh, the like the style choices you made or if you want to change this again manually you can go here to where it says font let's say I want that font instead and let's say you want to change the size of it you can go here move the size you can uh, use the arrows do whatever you'd like type it in and you can increase or decrease the size, increase, decrease line height, do a bunch of stuff. And you can do and use this option on every single text uh, block that you have on every single page. The same goes for colors. So some of these are graphics on this template, um, which is why the colors aren't gonna change there specifically. But if you're using like a shape, you can change the color. So let's grab this one and again, just go here and you can pick out of your color palette a color that you might want. So we can just change that. Let's say here, I like that color. Let's do that. Like that looks kind of cute. So you can change each block or each text and the color that's on them. So let's say we want like a an ombre look or if that's like too light and you're noticing that you can still pick another color. We 
can decrease the size if you think you need to. And now you have like different colors and you know sizes if needed um, on your on one section. So you can change the colors, change the fonts. Um, so yeah, uh, that is a quick tutorial. Um, also, just make sure that you're making those changes on mobile as well. So make sure you're changing this color and the fonts to the to the correct ones that you're using um, on the desktop. Okay, awesome. Hope this helps. Thanks so much.